morning friends welcome to ACF kids online we are back for another fun week of I spy I wanted to play I spy one more time before we moved on to something else because our friends in the clubhouse have been playing a lot of I spy and I love I spy you guys were really good at it last time we played I spy with colors but today we're gonna play I spy with shapes so I'm gonna give you a shape and then I'm gonna give you 10 second countdown to go find something in your house somewhere that is that shape, okay? And then I want you to bring it back and shout it out, show it to me on the screen, okay? And you have 10 seconds to do it. Okay, so the first shape that I want you to go find today is a circle. Can you go find me a circle? Ready, go! guys you found some circles let me see those are awesome look what I found that circle it's my donut float it has a bite out of it so it's not a perfect circle but my donut float okay that was my circle okay next shape this one is a little bit tough okay so you're gonna have to search a little bit I want you to find a triangle can you go find me a triangle shape ready Set, go! Ten, Great job, you guys! Okay, here's what I found that was a triangle shape. It's the lid on my bug spray. Doesn't that green lid look kind of like a triangle to you? It looks like a triangle to me. What did you guys find? Great job, you guys! Triangle was hard. Okay, are you ready? Next shape. I want you to go find a square. Can you find a square in your house? Ready, set, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> what did you find, guys? Awesome job. I'm so proud of you. Okay, I found my Jesus Storybook Bible, which is not a perfect square, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Okay, good job. Okay, last shape that I want you to find today. I spy a rectangle. Can you find me a long, skinny rectangle shape? On your mark, get set, go. Okay, what did you find? Oh, those are some great rectangles, you guys. I'm really proud of you. You guys know your shapes. Good job. Okay, I found a little speaker that we use at our house to play music outside, and it's a perfect rectangle shape. So, great job, you guys. You are masters of I Spy. Now, remember what we're talking about this month. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's right, friends. And today we're going to hear one more story about that. But first, I think it's time to worship. So get up on your feet and let's worship. Tell he 
written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. pictures at the top of the chart, but the teeny ones at the bottom, those were harder. It was so much fun that I made my own eye chart to practice. Let's put it on the wall. Now you can practice with me too. Here's the fun part. You have to cover up one eye. Take your hand like this and cover up one eye and hold it right there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is green and brown and has branches. It's a tree! You spotted it! Now let's test your other eye. Take your other hand like this and cover up your other eye and hold it right there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is red and means love. A heart, you did it! You spotted something on the smallest row. Great work! Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie! Hello, Manny. Who? Who? 
testing your vision, are you? Hi, Ollie. Sure am. I made my own eye chart to practice seeing. That's a fun thing to do. But I've got something even better to spy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, everyone. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out today's special. Ta da! I call them Taste Like Heaven because each bite is the best thing ever. <laughs> Which is exactly the true story I want to tell you today. Get your I Spy eyes ready so you can help me tell the story. Awesome! If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell, Tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Raise your hand if you have ever heard about a place called heaven. Great! That is what our story is about today. A very special place called heaven. One day, Jesus was with his friends, the disciples. He told them he would be going away soon. He said he was going to a special place called heaven to get everything ready for all of the people who believed in him. He said this place was very big and it had a lot of rooms. Later, after Jesus died and came back, he visited many of his friends. Jesus wanted his friends to see that he was alive with their very own eyes. Jesus talked with them and ate food with them so they would see he is alive and believe in him. Do you see Jesus alive? Help me look for him. I spy with my little eye. Jesus is alive! While Jesus was talking and eating with his friends, he told them to go and tell everyone that he is alive and he wants to be their friend forever. Then something amazing happened. After Jesus finished talking to his friends, he went straight up into the sky, through the clouds, and into heaven. All of his friends saw him do it with their very own eyes. Can you see a sky with clouds? Look with me. I spy with my little eye. <gasps> A sky with clouds! <laughs> While Jesus' friends were standing there looking at the sky, two angels came and asked them, why are you looking at the sky? Jesus has gone to heaven, but he'll be back. Wow, we know heaven is real because Jesus told us it is real. And we can believe Jesus because he always tells the truth. And everyone who believes in Jesus will get to be his friend forever and live with him in heaven one day. Can you see why this is one of my favorite true stories from the Bible? And Jesus is getting a place in heaven ready for everyone who believes in him. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye! So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus has a special place with him in heaven. For me and for you. Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! Jesus wants to be our friend forever. He's even made a special place for us in heaven one day. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you just like got it, get it? Got it! Good! I love spying fun things on my eye chart, but the most amazing thing to spy on is this, my Bible. Because the Bible teaches us that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. He's even made a special place for us in heaven one day. See you guys next time. Bye! I spy with my little eye. Wow, what a story! Can you guys even believe it? Okay, well to keep going on our story, 
Here's what I want you to do. In a second, I want you to pause the video and I want you to find blankets, pillows, maybe your parents even have a giant box in the garage. And I want you to make yourself a special place. Remember in our Bible story, Jesus said he was going ahead of us to prepare a special place for each one of us in heaven. So what I want you to do today is to pause the video and make a special place right there in your living room. Use the box, use chairs, use blankets, use pillows. Make yourself your own little fort and make it a special place that you can play in today and help you remember that Jesus is going ahead of us to make a special place in heaven for all of us. Okay, pause the video, make your special place, and then come back. Okay, friends, did you build your fort? Great job. Okay, in our story, do you remember who told us that he wants to be our friend forever? That's right, Jesus. And Jesus told his friends that he was going away to make a special place for them. Do you remember what that special place is called? Yes, it's called heaven. And Jesus is going there to prepare a place for you and for me. Now we know all these things because we read about them in our Bible. It tells us about Jesus and about the life that he lived and about how he's going to prepare a place for us in heaven. You know, we believe in Jesus because of what we read about him in this Bible, because men and women wrote down what happened so that we could know. Now, who can believe in Jesus? That's right, I can believe in Jesus. Good job, friends. Now, our verse this month is all about reading God's word and knowing what happened because people wrote it down for us. Let's say it together. Are you ready? These are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Okay, now let's say it in a mouse voice. Are you ready? We're going to make squeaky mouse voices. John 20, 31. Well, I lost my mouse voice there for a second. Okay, good job, you guys. Now, now we're going to say it in our growly lion voice. Are you ready? These are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. That was not a very good lion voice. <laughs> I hope you guys did it better than me. Okay, I hope though that you will remember that verse for the rest of your lives because the truth is the bible was written so that you and i could believe that jesus is the christ the son of god that's such a special gift friends okay let's pray together before we go god thank you for my friends here today thank you that we can believe in you that we can tell others about your love and thank you that you have gone ahead of us to prepare a special place for us called heaven we can't wait to be with you there. We love you so much, Jesus. Amen. It's been fun, friends. I'll see you next week for a brand new theme. I can't wait. Bye. Jesus is a good friend. He's a good, good friend. He's a